Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I will explain one of the string related coding problem in the Python so that if is there any question in this model in the any one of the coding contest, you can easily solve it. Now coming to the problem statement, write a Python program to get the string made of first two and as well as last two characters from the given string. If the string length is less than two means we need to return an empty string or we can simply return one message in the format of empty string. Now if you are going to observe the input so here some example inputs are there with respect to, to that inputs some outputs are there now within the first input the string that we are passing here is python from the python so the length of the string is greater than 2 so that uh, we need not to return empty string from this particular string we can return the first two characters and as well as last two characters here from this string the first two characters are py and the last two characters are on so the output is py on as well as if you are going to observe the second input within that we have two characters are there in the string that is sr now this particular string length is greater than or equal to 2 it is not less than 2 so that uh, we need to print the first two characters and the last two characters here in this string the two characters that are available are sr which are acting as like as your first two characters and last two characters that's why we are printing sr two times here and if you are going to observe the third input here we are passing only one character in the string so the length of the string here is one which is always less than two so that when the length of the string is less than two we need to return empty string message or we need to return empty string now for this program how to write the code so all of you please observe here if you have, if you are going to observe the code so we have i am providing two methods here if you are going to observe the first methodology so whatever the input that we are going to take in the format of string try to read it in one variable so here i am taking the variable name itself is input str within that whatever the input that we are taking for example the input string is python that will be available in this input string now if the length of the input string is less than 2 here the length of this particular string python if you are going to observe 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 characters are there so the length of the input string is 6 so which is not at all less than 2 so that we need not to execute this if condition if the length of the string is less than 2 means definitely we need to print the message empty string so but here the length of the string is greater than 2 so that we need not to execute this if condition we can enter into the else block within the else block if we are going to observe with the help of slice function so with the help of slice function from the given string we can get the substring with respect to, to the index positions here i am applying the slicing operation slice of 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 in the sense from the 0 index position if you are going to observe python is the string so within that the first character is available in the 0 index position the last character is available in the fifth index position now with the help of slice function if you are going to provide some starting point and ending point here the starting point is 0 from the 0 index position to the ending point is 2 ending point 2 in the sense we should not include it in the substring we need to exclude it before that particular point you have to consider before that index position up to that before index position you have to consider so here we are passing 2 2 in the sense so here this is the second index position up to this second index position that means before that second index position the index that is available is 1 so 0 comma 2 in the sense the starting from the 0 index to before the second index position that means up to one index position you have to take the substring so here we are going to get py that so that slice operation i am trying to store in one resultant variable that is nothing but s1 as well as if you are going to observe the second slicing operation slice of the length of the input string the length of the input string is 6 6 minus 2 in the sense why because we need to get the last two characters of the string so in order to get it from the entire length i am stop subtracting 2 that means 6 minus 2 in the sense you will get 4 that means the starting index position is 4 comma the length of the string the length of the string is 6 so here the length of the string is 6 in the sense actually the sixth index position is not at all available up to sixth index position means we should not include it so before that sixth index position the index position that is available is 5 up to that fifth index position you have to consider now here slice of length length of input string minus 2 in the sense you will get 4 4 comma the length of the string is 6 4 comma 6 in the sense from the fourth index position to up to fifth index position we need to take the substring here the substring that we are getting is on so now that operation result that i am storing it in the 
S2. Now these two S1 and S2 variables I am trying to pass them to the given input string. So here I am taking one print statement within the print statement print of input string from the input string we are applying the slicing operation. Here with the, within the square braces I am passing the slicing function result. So with respect to the S1 the result that we are going to get here is with respect to the 0 and first index position the output that we are getting is py so that will be available here it is in the format of string plus input string of s2 so with respect to, to the second slicing operation the substring that we are getting is from the fourth index position input string length minus 2 in the sense you will get 6 minus 2 4 from the fourth index position to up to sixth index position sixth index position means we should not include the sixth index position so before that sixth index position the index position that is available is 5 up to 5 from 4 to 5 means you will get on that will be available in, in this particular location. Finally, with the help of plus concatenate operator, we are concatenating the both the substring. Due to the treasure only, the output that we are going to get here is PYON. As well as if you are going to pass the second string with, with respect to the second string also. So SR in the sense from the 0 to second in exposition in the sense, you will get up to first in exposition. 0 to first in the sense. S is available in the 0 and X position, R is available in the first and X position. It is acting as like as a first substring plus the length of the entire string is 2. 2 minus 2 in the sense you will get 0 only, 0 comma the length of the string is 2. Again we are going to get this particular SR is acting as a substring for that particular second slice operation. So that the final output that we are going to get here is SR SR. Two times you are going to repeat the same string. For example, if you are going to pass single character, what will happen? So here the length of the input string is now 1. Why? Because with respect to the single character, so the length will be 1. 1 is always less than 2 so that we can return. We can simply printing the empty string or we can return empty string here. We can just print the empty string also. There is no problem. But instead of it, I am printing one simple message which is in the format of empty string. So with respect to, to this particular size functions, we can get the substrings with respect to, to the index positions in the given string. Now let me try to explain the second methodology. So in order to explain it, let me try to comment the first methodology. Now within the second methodology, if you are going to observe, so here instead of slicing mechanism, I am trying to operate here with the help of indexing mechanism. Indexing mechanism means very simple. So the input string is available in the input str and if the input string length is less than 2 means we, we need to simply return the empty string. Otherwise here we are not returning we are printing the empty string otherwise we need to enter into the else block within the else block if you are going to observe from the input string here we are applying index indexing indexing in the sense from the given input string from zero index position to up to second index position here starting and ending index positions we should not include the end index position before that ending index position we need to consider so here the end index position that we are passing is 2 2 before index position is 1 that means from 0 to 1 we need to consider from the 0 to 1 in the sense you will get py only as well as with the help of negative indexing so for the same python string positive index positions are from 0 to 5 and if you are going to consider the negative indexing so it will start from minus 1 to 6 if you minus 6 if you want to reverse the string we can simply with the help of negative indexing we can we can reverse the entire string now here from this particular with respect to, to the negative indexing if you are going to observe minus 2 minus 2 means here the starting index minus 2 is available here from here I am not at all providing the end index position that means it will take the remaining entire thing so from minus 2 to the remaining entire thing means you will get on so it is acting as like as a substring so with respect to, to the first indexing operation you will get py and with respect to, to the second indexing we, we will get on so the final output is py on it is a very simple and it is one of the best methodology instead of using slice function you can directly apply indexing mechanism in order to identify the substrings with respect to, to the given index positions here we have one more option is available for the indexing as well as slicing function so we uh, here the first uh, the first index is indicating that the starting point and the second index is indicating the ending point along with them if you want to provide the step count also it will be possible that the step count if you want to provide that means if you if you don't want to consecutive elements if you want to get uh, 
2 by 2 elements means we can provide the step count also in order to provide the step count the default step count that is available is 1 if you want to change it you can change it like this otherwise within the slicing operation also the default step count is consecutive elements you are going to get one by one if you want to increment the step count we can provide the third option so here if you are going to observe the syntax of slice starting stopping and as well as if you want to provide the step count you can provide it so if i am going to provide step count 2 in the sense so from the starting index to the ending index position before element you will get all the elements with the help of step count 2 like that we can use it but for this problem we need not to use the step count due to the region only we are getting this simple output so i think with this you got the complete idea regarding how to get the output for the given problem statement thank you thank you Randall. if you like my videos all of you please do subscribe to my channel please inform to your friends ask them to subscribe thank you